Why? Black t-shirt, baggy pants, and Timberland boots. <laughs> I mean, that, that would be too... That is extremely buggy now. Everything is all buggy. It so. is time for us to take you around what's happening in the country. Ganuge Gagwira, what about to kubuli de chiri mugwanga, ne chiri musio na. It's not a usual bulletin. It's a discussion of all the stories that we have. And of course, I'm with Pamela Isamat Achom. Stories from all over the world. It's Kuteo. Taking it a little bit extra. Mugagwira Walk, 100.2. Galaxy FM. Ni Pamela Isamat. Mu mid-morning to Kone. So, what, Taguan, what do we have happening? What we have, let's mm. start off with the TikToker, Joseph Ngoma. I think you've seen that TikTok of this guy who is seen in an erotic video in a lodge with a young girl. Mm. Hey, he's smooching. Was it what, his, it was know, a video or there were pictures? There was actually a video. Oh. There was a video. This guy went to a lodge, mm -hmm. in apparently in Mubende, mm -hmm. and uh, that's where he met this young girl. I think mm -hmm. she's about 15 or 14 mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. and then he lured her into the lodge, mm -hmm. and then um, he started doing those all live videos. I think it was live or recorded. He was he live. He posted those videos later. Yes, he posted videos to calling the girl his wife. Oh. Where have you been? Are you in Uganda? <laughs> no, I saw I saw part of the video. I, yeah. saw, I think I saw pictures. Uh, it wasn't pictures, a video. Okay. I saw pictures. Mm. I was like, this girl is young. Yeah. 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 So apparently, according to Fred Nanga, Uganda police spokesperson, he says Joseph Ngoma mm. was arrested mm. uh, for charges of defilement and yeah. he was captured in Chitintale here in Kampala. But the video recording was done in Mubende. Mm. Mm. Apparently, this guy Ngoma is also a student. Yeah. So it was around, I think, 14th of mm. May, 4th mm. of May, 4th mm. of May, when he did this video. Yeah. He went with this, he went, he was supposed to go for coaching. He told mm. his parents he was leaving home to go for coaching. Mm. So he's at How a trading old is the center. guy? There's a common trading center. We don't know his age, mm. but he must be like 18, 19 there. Eh. He's, he's, he's quite mature. 18, 19. Yeah. 15. Okay, I'm not so certain yeah. of his age. He looks, but old. He must he be looks like, older than that. To me, older. if you ask me, he looks he looks he older looks than like that. looks like he's 25. He looks or older than like that. that. He looks older. Yeah, he yeah. looks older. Mm. But anyway, I, I'm not certain of his age, so I can't independently verify that he's 19 or mm. 18 or mm. even 17. Mm. But he's quite mature. So this guy told his parents he was going for cho uh, coaching, jumped on a border. When he reached the trading center, his plans changed. He told the border to go in different direction. This is Madudu Trading Center. It's in Mubende District. So he branched to a lodge and bar. That's where he met this young girl. Told her to enter the lodge. He told her to cut recording. He took a video. Then he started touching her inappropriately and, you know, uh, doing all this sexual stuff on her. And then later defiled her. Then told her to go back home. So when she went back home, he posted the video four days later and the, uh, the video went viral. Her mother was able to see it. She told the mother that she was forced to do this stuff. And that's when they started this, a hunt for him. They just got him yesterday in Chitinta. He's stupid. <laughs> Actually, Enanga was saying, why do people record themselves doing crime? Chamba like, why would you record like, yourself? Was the video necessary? I don't know what point like he was what, trying what to Like what point he was looking for views, he was looking for likes. This was oh, he wanted to show that he knows how ah, to do these things. Ate, does he know? Have you seen the video? <laughs> he doesn't even I've seen know. the video. It's so hey, when you see the immature. Video, he... It's so amateur. <laughs> That's the best word to use. <laughs> Now, you remember the driver yesterday that we told you about, Stephen mm. Kisambira. Mm. Uh, he's a driver for a judge mm. in the judiciary. He yes. came out with a video over the weekend, to Saturday to be more precise, where he was very angry. He was bitter in his video. He was claiming yes. that I earn only 200,000 mm. shillings mm. per month. Mm. And uh, he was also claiming that mm. besides earning 200,000, um, he mm. has worked for 15 years. Mm. He's not entitled to leave. Then mm. somewhere in the video, mm. he said... He gave an example of the incident that happened in Nichanja where mm. the bodyguard shot the minister. Yes. And he said, now look at me, Zendi driver. Mm. Okay? I don't only carry myself, principal mm. bodyguard. Mm. So I hold these people's lives in my hands, mm. the driver. So mm. what if I get an accident? Because right now I'm so angry mm. that I could run myself into a trailer mm. and be knocked dead. I yes. don't mind yes. being knocked dead. Yes. So in other words, he was threatening that he mm. can easily cause an accident mm -hmm. and kill his principal because of his anger. Mm -hmm. So police arrested him yesterday at CPS. They, mm. After they opened, according to Luko Wasigiri, they opened a general inquiry. Mm. 
file. Mm. Uh, he was arrested. They told him to make a statement and he refused. He said, until my lawyer is available. Mm. But otherwise, judiciary said he's lying, like I told you yesterday. Mm. But they don't earn only 200. Mm. They get There's more much more allowances. Than that. For me, yeah. what, what is perturbing me is the rate at, peop- at which people are grabbing themselves on videos. Eh? Yeah. And, and speaking Doing game. Crime. <laughs> speaking for... Uh, like you can be here on video and say something and yeah. later we look for you and we're like, yeah. uh-huh, come, There's enough evidence. Come here. Yes. Is this you in the video? Yes. I think people are mis- uh, uh, mis- mistaking two things. Being mm. vocal mm. or airing out your... Like how you air out your grievances. Mm-hmm. And then there's being vocal. Mm. And then the third one is committing crime exactly. while you are airing out your, your issues. So people have to be careful, man. Of the world. So he tried as... He thought he was being careful. But mm. when he reached somewhere, he started threatening. Mm. That becomes... He was just angry. He was angry. That's but what he charging he said, I am not mad. They are going to charge him angry. with what? What crime did he do? I don't know. The details will probably come out later mm-hmm. in our subsequent Behavior no kumi him is if they go kutan is a much aguna kurade donga to umba umba. Torah woman MP, that is Sarah Opendi, was yes. granted leave last year by parliament to mm. uh, table uh, oh, a, a private member's bill. This is a marriage bill. Mm. So yesterday, yesterday was I think World International Day of Families. Yes, yes, mm. there was a press I, that they were holding, mm. and she may, did mention about this bill. She mm. was t- because in Parliament she said the Marriage Act has been there for 118 years, mm. and it needs amendment because marriage 118 years ago is not the same like yes. it is now. <laughs> and she was saying 65 percent of the population in Uganda are cohabiting, mm. then, and they think they are husband and wife, yes. but actually not true. Mm. So for her, she's saying in her bill one mm. of the things she wants is a limit to cohabitation mm-hmm. yeah if you stay with me for five years and you've not put a ring Until on five it years. let me go hey. Hey. five she, five years might be too much i no, think five years, I'm she's still studying she's you. looking around hey. months Months. Because apparently she gave an example of Malawi. In uh-huh. Malawi, they give six months. You mm. stay with a man, with a woman for six months. Mm. After, you must get married. If you don't or get you married, break up. Hey. I mean, stop cohabiting. Do you know how much it is to, have to do a wedding? <laughs> hey. Marriage is not cheap, my friend. For me, it's not more about the wedding, but it's about a, a personal decision that mm. I've made to, to want to marry someone. Because cohabiting is one thing. Mm. But then that person doesn't fully own you, mm. even if you're cohabiting. Mm. Then marriage is another mm. Yeah, I understand. So let's say I'm <laughs> so with you. So for you can easily walk out. For EG, hey. for example, yeah. Dinawe, uh-huh. Toyagade, yeah. Biachiaye, uh-huh. no jano tani koko bere wange, uh-huh. obane mbere uo, yes. obane tupangi sawa, mm. tune tani koko fena, mm. no zaro umuana asoka, yes. maybe no teka kuno woku bere, no woku satu, ne tu bere fena, mm-hmm. nga sasu lidaba na school fees, uh-huh. nkurabi lida, yes. mbalabi lida, nga, nga sina, <laughs> keep saying yes, don't get tired, <laughs> but hey. when I haven't put a ring on it yeah. yet, when I haven't, you know, gone, your parents know me, yeah. Yeah, my parents know you. Mm. Like Kavantu Bangeva Kumani Nababo Bamani, Nenga just Sinava Genda Kora and Bageyo. You're not married, you're still girlfriend and boyfriend now, the fiancé <laughs> level. So you until f- you've you're registered, free, even, you're free even to you leave. must register under you are you're, you're free to leave. You're free to leave. With my children. Yes. Huh. I tell your children alone, they're our children. Uh-huh. This is the mid morning to Kone, Ku 100.2 Galaxy FM. Galaxy TV. All the money I've been putting <laughs> in the money to buy just leave. Wow. I tell you, I gave you children. I... Yeah? And then now. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Those, uh-huh. those children you say you gave me. Wabazarabo, we're cow. Galaxy TV. Yeah, then, but. Jikonkone.